They broke those promises. Kenneth Butch Borgan was a resident at a nursing home in Owen County. He died in November unrelated to COVID-19. Food, water, turning and repositioning, they failed to give those things to Butch and it caused Butch's premature death. According to a complaint filed against the facility, Butch suffered from poor care, including malnutrition, a fractured nose, and pressure sores. The family's attorney fears two bills that the state legislature will not give them justice. Because you're not able to hold the facility accountable for failing to care for them. Ashley Hadler believes House Bill 1002 and Senate Bill 1 create obstacles for legal claims unrelated to the pandemic. The bill is very clear that it has to arise out of COVID-19. State Representative Jerry Tor thinks the language in his bill is clear and says this will not provide blanket immunity. This is, as I said earlier, mostly some comfort level for business owners but it's not the drastic change that a lot of the opponents are trying to make it out to be. A nursing home trade group also argues alleged acts of negligence that are not in response to the pandemic or for COVID-19 will not be provided the heightened standard being considered under the proposals. They don't have a basis to make that claim because our court system has not yet interpreted this language. That's why Hadler is urging lawmakers to change the language after several amendments already failed. Just very clearly tie it to claims for illness or death related to COVID-19. In Indianapolis, I'm Kelly Rinke, Fox 59 News.